Looks the, nice. The regular member of the City Council meeting scheduled for 7 p.m. December 15th will all come to order. Roll call. Councillor Hogue. Here. Councillor Koivinen. Here. Councillor Lillis. Here. Councillor Hadrava. Here. Mayor Vaisalvich. Here. Item C, approval of minutes from City Council Workshop December 1st and City Council Meeting December 1st. If no one has any corrections or changes, can I call for a motion that we approve the minutes of these two meetings as printed? So moved. Now supported. Motion made by Coyman and support by Adrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item D, approval of tonight's agenda. Do we have any deletions or additions to what's on here? If not, then I'll call for a motion that we approve tonight's agenda as it stands. So moved. Motion made by Lillis. Do we have support? I'll support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item E, appointment and presentations. Reappointment of Sheldon Crawl to the Eveleth Virginia Airport Authority. I'll make that motion and uh, with a little comment of uh, thanking Sheldon for all his years of uh, hard work out there and uh, I hope you have many more. <laughs> and keep working with us, Sheldon. We need you. Thank you. No, it's, it's tough getting people on the commissions. No, every, I'll support it because I've worked with Sheldon out there years ago and he does a good job out there. Motion made by Hadrava, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. We have no presentations at this time. Does anyone from the audience wish to address the council? If not, I will allow ample time after the meeting and we'll move on to the consent agenda. Approval of payroll November 16th through the 30th. Approval of claims for November 2015 and request to carry over vacation. Who's uh, this? The request. Oh, Sergeant Jesse. Oh, okay. Any questions on the consent agenda? If not, call for a motion that we approve the consent agenda. So moved. Motion made by Koivinen, their support. I'll support it. Support by Hidrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We have no public hearings, no unfinished business. Item J1, resolution approving budget for year 2016. Anyone have any questions on a budget? I know we had a number of meetings. It's that time of the year, the crunch time. If not, can I call for a motion that we approve the resolution setting the budget for year 2016? So moved. Motion made by Koivinen. Do I have support? I'll support. Support by Hogue. <clears throat> any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, resolution approving tax for year 2016. Total levy, $1,549,173. No one have any questions or recommendations? If not, I'll call for a motion that we approve the resolution approving the tax for year 2016. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Hydrava, do I have a support? Support. Support by Lillis, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number three, approval for fuel purchases for 2016. And we only have, uh, Jerry, we only have the one station that carries diesel, right? Yes. Oh. We only have one game in town, so with that, I'll make that motion. Okay. <laughs> motion made by Corbin that we accept the proposal for fuel purchases for 2016. We have support. I'll support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number four, library policies. Mary Beth, did you want to say anything? Or? You know, all the folks have been in place. Carolyn had just wanted them formally approved. Oh, okay. So we basically just are giving them to you to have them formally approved. So we're all headed to happy with them. Because it's nothing new. We've been doing it as long as I've been here. All right, I thought you had maybe some earth shattering changes here for us. Yeah. But. <laughs> I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava that we accept the library policies as written. There was support. No support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number five, approval of 2016 tobacco licenses. Was this all of them? I thought we had more than that. I it. remember we used to have about 20 of them. <laughs> I, I know, I was just looking at that, if we, if we got another batch yet. <laughs> if no one has any questions, call for a motion that we approve these four tobacco licenses. So moved. Motion made by Coivinen, do I have support? Support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number six, final pay request from 3D Concrete and Construction in the amount of $22,540 for Golf Course Cart Barn. Looks, looks pretty nice. Come on, really good. Yeah, it did. You know, you never think there's that much activity out there that you have to expand that, but there's that's a pretty busy golf course for the size it is. For a nine-hole golf course, there's many rounds played on it. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty aggressive course, you yes. know, you see the layout. Were we going to um, hopefully do something with the uh, floor in there, maybe that, is that chloride or chlorine? Yeah, calcium chloride. <coughs> that's it. Do next summer. Okay, know, just because. I've well, we put class <coughs> five in there and packed it down, and okay. it's good right now. Well, only because you know some people that rent space for cards complain of dust issues. Yeah. So just think of something. Usually that calcium chloride works good. We use it on dirt roads in our own town, the ones that we have. So and it seems to work pretty good and last quite a bit. Okay. Just getting to the point. You got to put speed limit signs up in the cart tracks. <laughs> you make it bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You see the length of this thing? Jesus. Yeah. Drag races all the way to the door. Well, I'll make the motion to uh, pay the twenty-two five forty. Okay, motion made by Koivinen to pay 3D construction for completion of the cart shack. Do I have a second? I'll make that. I'll, I'll second that. Most supported by Councillor Hogue. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number seven, pay request number two from Basami, Masabi Bituminous in the amount of $3,547.30 for aqua power site expansion. This is just basically pass through money, isn't that, Jack? It's worth it. Yeah. We have a motion that we pay, pay request number two to Masabi Bituminous. Motion made by Hogue, do I have support? <coughs> I'll support it. Support by Hedrava, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number eight, change order number one, Masabi Bituminous for Aqua Power Expansion Site. And the change order amount is, of course, that's the part of that project. Rod, you have someone? I, I was just grabbing my oh. questions as to why, what change order. Yeah, was why? <laughs> well, <laughs> you knew that was coming. I was yeah. chuckling at home when I read uh, this. Well, um, the, there were some revisions on the site because we, they ran into some unsuitable soils that couldn't be built on at the excavated belt. Um, otherwise, the project couldn't be completed for any such. So it's something it's still all fault in the grant. So it was something that they could not foresee. Because you know how I feel about the change order. Yes, I do. <laughs> Especially one this size. That's pretty good size. You could have done uh, yep. uh, 
you know, a number of soil borings that may be founded before construction. But, but that might have cost us the same thing. Correct. If not more. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice to see a business making use of that mm -hmm. nice facility and expanding on top of it. And it's really it. looking good. That access off a of hat trick is uh, really a big plus there for safety and ease It of looks event. like another nice big business down there because you didn't even realize they put that big building up in the back until they did that. I mean, it really enhances it. It looks good. Yeah, it's nice to see them, you know, making an investment in a community like that. Yep. Have a motion that we accept change order number one. I'll make that motion. <laughs> <laughs> I think you Motion made by Koivinen. Do I have a support? I'll support. Support by Hoag. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Item number nine. Pay request number three. It's the final from Wasabi Bituminous. An amount of $1,827.65 for Aqua Power Site Expansion Project. We have a motion that we pay this final request to Masabi on the Aqua Power Project. So move. Motion, my boy, you're spending tonight, Joe. Well, now we're done for a year. <laughs> and I'm right. going to be on top of every change order <laughs> next year that comes, and you let them know that. Is this the end? Is this the end of this project? This yeah. is it. That is the final I'll second. It. Final payment. Motion made by Coyman and support by Hadrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number ten. Letter from the coalition, the coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities, regarding support for increasing local government aid in the 2016 session. Well, that's kind of. Uh, an uphill fight all the time, you know what I mean? It's well, we've been doing really good sticking with them. Uh, Jack and I've been going every single year, and uh, and um, it's it's been an uphill battle, uh, but we've come out pretty good, I think, in the long run. So, well, there's the big surplus, and they spend it on a lot of other things. And you know, at, the, at this level, all the demands are dumped on you. I would, uh, I would make a motion, make a motion, that, we motion that we support this. that, yes. Motion made by Hadrava to support the letter from the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities. I have support. I'll support. Support by Hogue. Any further discuss discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, resolution accepting donation for K-9 unit from the Eveleth Merchants Association in an amount of $5,000. You know, we did a little talking about this at the agenda meeting, and I just come up with it. I think this K-9 unit's going to have a college fund. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's sparked a lot of interest. I mean, it's really of a positive nature. I think it's going to be a good thing for the city of Eveleth, for the police department, all the police departments around. For crime? Yep, for everything. Oh, well, it's just going to, it's going to increase their effectiveness, you know, yes. and that's basically what it's doing in a big yep. way. We can use it in a town, that's for sure, in all these towns. Yep. And with that, I'll make a motion we accept it. I'll second it. Motion made by Koivinen to accept the resolution, accepting the donation, support by Hadrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 12, basically item 12, 13, and 14. We're just kind of shuffling the deck here with Mike's retirement to these different... Uh, Committees, Biosolids, Disposal Site, Tri-City Biosolids, Masabi Elm Utilization <laughs> Authority. Anybody have a problem if we take the Public Work Director's recommendation and approve them all in one motion? As interesting as them sound, I'll make a motion. <laughs> 12, 13, and 14. And I'll second it. <laughs> motion made by Koivinen, supported by Hadrava, that we make these appointments. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Proposed motion carried. Item 15, proposal for architectural services for auditorium renovation. <clears throat> Finally, after delay, we're getting, we're getting close. And I see, Brad, they had the uh, mural in here, too. 
refurbishing that. Oh, down. No, that's good because I've been no going in an auditorium. Oh. Been asking for that for a while here to make sure that that's protected. That's uh, that's a big part of our auditorium yes. in, the, in the history. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there's some watermarks on it. So, and that's yeah, that that's a got a, that's a big part of it. We need that done done right. Oh, that keep that. That thing is so crucial. When we uh, when we get this all totally done, everything set, I think we should unveil it to the public. You know, have something of some sort. A grand to, opening, I think. A grand opening, have, uh, grand and opening. Uh, we'll invite. Uh, we'll just invite everybody up there. I well, mean, Steph's they have had to look some at ideas it. on that. <laughs> oh, good, Steph. You can you can tell us. She's been thinking about that. <laughs> well, I think that would just be a great idea. Because even when we were up there last week or the week before, I mean, you walk in there and you just look around, and I mean, it's been years since people have used it. It's got the sound of a <clears throat> auditorium to it, and I just think a lot of the elderly people in town, it's going to bring back memories, and a lot of the younger people it could start new memories for them. I mean, we have the facility, and it, it's beautiful. You know, I, I don't want to date myself, but it kind of brings, <laughs> you, brings you back to the days of grade school and high school when you had all these kind of buildings like that. I know, plus then it's a, a Councillor Hogue here. It was this was the first term that he got on here this was one of his babies that he really believed in I mean we went up to Mike and myself went up to the Falls and, and Jackie and we looked at stuff and at, at first it just we thought there was no way it could be possible but the persistence with Brian and and got things going and it's it's just I'm, I'm glad we went that way so my hats off to you for keeping us going on it that's gonna be an exciting project you know. yeah it's yeah I know it's just not there's no towns on the other range are building buildings like this. No, it's gorgeous in there now. It's easy to tear them down and it's a lot harder to build them. For the money you're putting into getting it repurposed and usable, it cost you that to knock it down. Yeah. And in five, six years, that's where you'd be at. A bigger parking lot there. And we have more than enough parking lots in town. Yeah. The, only, the only thing is the firemen would have, you know, about 50 less feet to walk to the job. <laughs> that's all we gain there, but... Uh, it's it's a pretty good building, pretty good shape. Yes. Nice. And then just continue on, you know, we go to another floor next. Yep. Yep. You know, it's... I like this uh, proposal, too. They got it broken down. You know, years ago, we got that one 18% uh, of the project cost. What the mm -hmm. heck does that mean? No, this is nice, real itemized one. I, re I really like this. It's a big improvement. Contingency already built in, so we're under the grant amount yeah if no one has any questions I call for motion that we do accept this proposal from architectural resources councillor Hall yes there it is yes who made the motion you Hall and who's supporting it I'll support Joe? it okay we have to stand behind that one any further discussion all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. opposed the motion carried that concludes our new business. Anybody have any updates on anything? Or? I, I've got one uh, before I forget here. We had uh, Curling in America up here a week ago or so. And uh, uh, my hat's off to Phil Drobnik, who did just one hell of a job. I mean, it, it just it went off perfectly. It brought a lot of people to town. Um, and from what I heard from the people, I was up there a little bit, and they just they think it's great. I mean, he did a great job, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, the matches should be coming up first week of January, if I think. Yep. That you be able to watch them on yeah. TV? Yeah, Friday nights. Friday nights on NBC. So if you didn't get a chance to go up there, watch it. If you <clears> see <throat> Phil, just tell him and his crew they did one heck of a job. And uh, let's see, there's that. And then I'd like to say a happy... No, I'm going to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody because this Happy Holidays and stuff is, I don't know where that came from, but you know what? It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. That's all I got. <laughs> Brian, you have anything to add? Well, just to update the council, we're working uh, avidly on uh, getting some new EMTs on staff. When we, oh, good. We had another round of interviews this week, and... Um, We've got just a little bit more with this session, and then uh, uh, the committee will be making a recommendation to the council to, 
to hire a, a certain number of uh, uh, candidates for the ambulance service, which is really kind of important, the direction that we're going right now to try to get uh, staff levels up where they need to be to address some of the uh, future issues that we have. And other than that, I also would like to um, advise the uh, public or wish the public and all of you, uh, um, and I, I will say happy holidays. <laughs> And uh, is the glass half hope you have a, a happy and safe uh, holiday season for everyone out here. Thank you, Bradley. What else do you have? Well, uh, let me think here. I've been gone for a while, <laughs> but uh, um, our parks and our Christmas decorations look fantastic as always. And thanks to our city crew and our volunteers at the park that uh, have helped us. We had a lot of huge projects this year. Uh, thanks to Jackie for overseeing them and helping us uh, progress and we are at the close of some of these big projects I believe uh, benchmark for thank you for helping us get through the year all this good stuff I know we got one more meeting but uh, it's Merry Christmas and and hats off to everybody and chief thank you for all your good hard work all year and I hope your family has a Merry Christmas, everybody out there. And then with that, I got to tell you a little story. Oh, boy. <laughs> Some poor lady today is shaking in her boots. Uh, I made a text before I left work. I drove the two and a half blocks towards my home. And as I'm getting down to my cutoff uh, street, I signal, I look for cars, and that darn phone goes ding. I look down for a second, I look up, and there's this lady, just pure white. And I'm just shaking in my boots. So, for God's sakes, please, everybody have a Merry Christmas and be safe. Don't do like I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Man, that's it. Oh, man. Oh, it's, I don't have too. I don't have too much to add, but you know, it's interesting to see when the communities do their levies, things like that. It's it seems like a little volatile this year, and I, I think the big thing is people have to understand part of these levies. The communities have nothing to say about them. It's these mandated items forcing you to do stuff. You know, it's a one size fits all mentality that come from our other levels of government. You got to spend money to correct the problem you don't have, and that's the really the frustrating part of it all. And when you're sitting there working the budget, people don't understand where the increases come from and what you have to do just to maintain yourself. And I encourage people to, you know, do some homework on that or ask, and you can understand because we're the bottom of the pecking order here, and we're the ones that get mandated no matter what community township, and you don't have any wiggle room or any way out because they control where the funding comes from. And, and, it, and it's tough for everybody. You know, I really I really feel for that because, you know, for the, for the citizens and the pub local public officials, it's, it's a tough thing. And you should probably have truth in taxation from our higher ups. They should have a meeting so people can ask those questions. Why is this stuff being passed? especially some of the environmental issues, they might be a problem in another part of the state. They aren't a problem here. Never have been, wow. never will. And you're making all these corrections that you don't need. And you could be using the money for a constructive purpose. But one thing about Eveleth, we are not politically correct, I'm glad to say. Santa Claus <laughs> is safe here, and all the Christmas trees, they're staying up. <laughs> but I just wish everybody a good holiday and uh, and a great winter. Looks like we got a good start and a break. And a Merry Christmas. Brian, what do you have? Oh, no, nope, just happy holidays and thank our contractors for the work last year. Bonnie with Klausmo, Patch, and Carney. Okay, I got that right. Uh, <laughs> Rod Benchmark, uh, Mark Wharton with the ARI for helping us out. Um, and also, on a, you mentioned the curling that went on this past weekend, but it's not really quite done. I mean, there's the cash spiel this weekend, right? Uh, yes. And that's also world class curling, so if you want to go up and watch. And uh, just a little spin off from this men, Chinese men have not left. 
right? and the women's team. And the women's. They're here like for a month, and they're practicing almost nightly up there. Daily, twice a day. And so they're using our restaurants. You know, they're shopping in our play, our stores, and staying in our hotels. So there's a lot of spin-off coming from this big. Um, currently night in America, I think, so a lot of goods come from it. So thanks to everybody that helped that. That's all I got. You know, Brian, that, that building's kind of the best kept secret around here because it can be used for a lot of other events and it is available. I don't know if ever, a lot of people realize that. You know, there's been weddings and things up here, different shows, gun shows and exhibits like that, but I mean, it's, it's available if something's going on. Nice centrally located, it's big, it might be too big, but People kind of forget about it, a huge building like that, thinking it's just specifically dedicated for the sports. But there's a lot of room there to do other things. Yeah, so if you missed a chance to go watch the World Class Curling last weekend, you can go up and see the same, pretty much the same people, some of them, right, Mom? Yes. And all the same level. Hey, we got a draw for tickets? We do. You get the honor, Councillor Hope. I won't try your name this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got a good one here. All right, this is for what night is this? January 10th. For January 10th? Yes. And who, what game? New Jersey Devils. Oh. All right, New Jersey Devils. And the winner this month is Deb Vito, 1407 2nd Street West. Congratulations. Yeah, Debbie Vito. <laughs> That's a fun part. Last night it was on those. What the separate? <laughs> well, that's all we have from the council. Steph, we'll start with you on the last one. You got anything to add? Oh, oh come on. I'm hoping you're going to see Jingle Bells. <laughs> <laughs> we got a very Christmas. Slide mic. <laughs> Chief, you have anything to add? I'll be a little repetitive. Uh, Mayor, Council, um, I'd just like to wish you all, um, city staff, everybody here, a very, very uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. I'd like to thank you on behalf of the Police Department for another year of your continued support. Um, We've made a lot of good changes. Uh, looking forward to the new year with uh, some endeavors. And um, with that, I'm going to take my uh, police hat off here for a second and put my father hat on. Um, 28th and 29th and 30th of December down at the Hippodrome, we have our home of hockey holiday tournament, um, which our high school boys will be taking on uh, throughout the week. There'll be a lot of hockey all day long there was no admission fee it's free to uh anybody that wants to come down and watch so we wish uh, everybody would uh, come down and support the bears jerry you got anything to add uh, just a little bit um finally gonna get some snow it sounds like the next couple of days so uh, we will be out plowing if we get considerable amounts but uh just be patient and happy holidays to everybody Rod, we've got all our projects. Well, not they're not closed out yet, but <laughs> yeah, most of them are tied up for the year. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but I guess I, I appreciate the fact that you guys expressed your uh, gratitude towards me and my company on behalf of the 18 families that you know the benchmark sports. We greatly appreciate that. Well, you you and your crew know this old town pretty darn good, you know. So there's yep. not a lot of surprises when you come do a job for us. It's been kind of nice to see Rod at these meetings. Yes. <laughs> it's been good having you. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be here for a while, but I guess on that, we, uh, we have hired a graduate engineer and uh, have a, uh, we hired a young man who's got a master's in construction management who will be doing design work and inspection because John Scipioni will be hiring. And we've also hired a uh, survey technician out of uh, Lake Superior Community College. Hmm. One reason I do that with uh, big clients like this. Thank you. Well, thank you. Jackie, do you have anything to add? I'll keep it short. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie. 
Um, I'll just also say Merry Christmas and thanks for letting my firm work with you for the year. I've really enjoyed it. So. Well, it, was, it was fun working with you on these different projects. I enjoyed that. Well, no one from the audience have anything to add? Where's if, Bill? If not, yeah, Bill's not here. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's at the Christmas party. <laughs> well, if, on that note, uh, we'll adjourn the meeting. <laughs>